Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today it's a match day preview, Luton Town versus Barnsley. This is going to be the first game of 2019 and it will be perfect if we could start the year on a high. But like any other match day preview, I do talk about the game before and that was obviously against Walsall away from home where we got a 2 all draw. In that game we just didn't get going, I still felt we were the better team but for some reason going forward we just... It weren't clicking for us. A poor mistake from Jack Stacey led to their goal. Didn't need to foul the player there. The player was going nowhere. The only play, the only thing what that player would have actually done is put the ball into the box. Anything could have happened from there. I knew at the time because it was, it was straight in front of me. I was just like, what have you done? But he done it. And yeah, they got the penalty and they obviously scored from it. I still felt after the penalty, we were still the better side. They, I don't even think they tested Shea at all throughout that game. Like defensively, we were okay. It's just going forward, we was there was nothing about us. And then the second half happens, same again. Like going forward, we weren't the best. We It just weren't clicking right. And then Loa Loa came on. But as soon as he came on, we conceded like two minutes afterwards and Walsall got their obviously second goal. A cross from, I don't know what Penny Roddick was doing, but the player fell over, still managed to cross the ball into the box. And then I don't know if Shea fumbled the cross. I don't, I can't remember. Something happened in the box and then the Walsall striker was there just to tap it home into an empty net. Two really poor goals to concede. McCormack in the game was the first player to actually run at their defence. He ran, he had a shot on site, which we don't really do that often. And the walls of defender, or two defenders, blocked the shot. And then it fell to Collins on the half term, who put it into the back of the net. His first chance in that game, and he scored it. So we're 2-1 down, and we're just chasing the game from there. Danny Hilton scores a, a goal, but the official got it wrong. It, he said it was, on, it was offside, but something like that could have easily deflated us. But no, we carried on going. And we grabbed that equaliser on Loire Loire in the 94th minute. It felt like a winner. We went mental and it was a nice... It felt good. It, it was such an enjoyment to have because it kept our own beat and run going. And it just shows you the amount of team spirit which we have in the squad. Like three of our players jumped into the away end. You don't get that often. So... It was a nice feeling and I'm glad that we got a draw away to Walsall. Last time we played Barnsley, we lost 3-2. Key decisions did not go our way at that game. Even though I felt we didn't turn up, the officials, I don't think, turned up either. Like, they were the better team, Barnsley, don't get me wrong, but we could have easily have got a point out of that game. I remember their first goal was poorly defended. Like, none of the players stopped the runner. He just literally ran out of defence. He had a shot, went in, and it was really poor defending. And then we scored straight after that, but it was flagged offside, which it wasn't. So, at that point... One all could be a completely different game. And then Barnsley get their second goal, 2 0 down, away from home. It isn't the best, especially against a top side like Barnsley. But then we get the penalty, Colin scores, and we're 2 1 down at half time, which is a lot better than being 2 0 down. And in the second half of that game, we just didn't get going at all. And remember, we couldn't break him down. They defended really well, and we didn't really test their goalkeeper well enough. But Barnsley, they got their third. It was a, I remember it was a Matty Pearson mistake. He just didn't clear his line properly. And then they scored and won the goal from that. But if, if he cleared his lines properly, it, would have, it wouldn't have happened. But yeah, that happened. And then later on in the game, Collins gets a goal. I didn't know how he scored it, but he scored. Got his second off the game. And then right at the death, Danny Hilton, the Barnsley defenders all over Danny. Anywhere else on the pitch, it's a foul. But because it happened in the penalty area, the ref didn't give it. He literally all over Danny Hilton, throws him to the floor. Not a penalty. It's a clear penalty. And then the game ended 3-2. I don't feel like we... If you look at it from the prospect, if decisions went our way, we probably didn't deserve to lose. But I felt we didn't even turn up. So the fact is that we didn't turn up and we could have easily got a draw is a good sign. Because you need to be getting points when you don't perform well. But for this game against Barnsley at home, we need to get revenge. We need to get the three points here. We're unbeaten at home this season, so hopefully that will still remain against Barnsley. Barnsley, since we've last played Barnsley, in fact, they were above us in the league. And we've obviously got a lot better. So something they've had a few bad results since they've last played us. They've got two former Luton players with Cameron McGeehan and Woodrow up front. So... Yeah, we're gonna. It's gonna be a tough game. We've got a very tough January. We've got obviously Barnsley at home, Sheffield Wednesday away. We've got Sunderland away, and then Paul Smith has also been rescheduled to, to be at home in January. And we've also got Peterborough as well. So we've got key games, 
and we need to be getting points from these top sides. Barnsley are on a decent run of form as well, so it's, it, it isn't going to be easy. You know, it's going to be a very tough game. I remember last year on New Year's Day when we played Lincoln at home. The sa it was the same scenario. They were on decent form, but we ended up beating them. It was a very good game. We ended up winning 4-2. We had Both teams had players sent off. Can something like that happen against Barnsley? Of course. But I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a good match and hopefully we can get the three points. I'm actually going to predict that we are going to win that game. I think our team spirit at the moment is really good. I just feel like we need to have a plan B when things don't go our way. And against Warsaw, it showed that we had a plan B. We switched up our formation to a 4-4-2. We had Justin playing as a winger. Loire Loire on the other side. He's so clever, Loire Loire. Honestly, his quality and the way he his football brains are He's brilliant. He, he just knows when the player is going to commit a foul. And he just goes past them so easily. But anyway, that's the end of the video, guys. Hopefully, we can win. I'm going to go with a 2-1 win at home to Barnsley. And i got a feeling Cameron McGinn is going to score. I just, it's just going to happen, isn't it? But anyway, comment down your thoughts for this game against Barnsley. What do you reckon is going to happen? What's your score predictions? i got a feeling Nathan Jones will play the same team that played against Wolves also. I don't expect many changes unless he changes Cornet. Now, Cornet did come off. Due to a, a slight knock, but he didn't actually want to come off. I remember he had a hamstring injury, and then Nathan went, no, you're just coming off. And then I remember Cornick moaning about it when he came off. He was just like, I'm fine, but Danny Hilton came on anyway. So, yeah, I reckon it's going to be the same team. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be the matchday vlog against Barnsley.